But why should we be trusting you with that land? This edition of the Ridley Report is brought to you by LRN.FM. Feds don't want you to hear them. Are you with the BLM? I'm not with the BLM. I'm here to see the BLM. Uh, do you work for the authorities? Do you work for a government agency? or? And you are? It's Dave Ridley with RidleyReport.com. That's right. Do you nice work for a government agency? Are you folks currently arresting people for marijuana in areas under your jurisdiction? discussions afterwards with all the folks around at the table so uh, don't feel like you gotta if you, if you can't finish now you won't have another chance. My name is Keith Berger I'm the field manager for the Royal Gorge Field Office. The Royal Gorge Field Office is the office that will be preparing the Eastern Colorado Resource Management Plan and uh, we really appreciate everybody being here tonight. I, uh, I need to start off a little bit with an apology. Um, some folks here have been following our, uh, our resource management plan since we kicked it off a little while ago. Uh, you'll know that Colorado Springs wasn't one of the uh, initial sites that we had uh, planned for a public meeting in, that, in here. And uh, I, I want to assure everybody that we weren't trying to slight anybody here about that. <laughs> acres on the map, uh, that would come out to more than 6.6 .6 million acres. The reason for the discrepancy is that... Can you personally name something that you've done from your position of power to increase human freedom on territory that the BLM controls? Thank you, first of all, for having, at least having a public meeting um, and, and for the transparency. But um, I do have a question. The Huffington Post says that the BLM has, quote, failed to inspect thousands of oil and gas wells it considers potentially high risk for water contamination, unquote. So why should we be trusting you with that land? Well, I would say this is... Uh, I think this is a good point in time for the public input into how we set priorities, how we set the issues that we're going to deal with in this planning effort. So if you have concerns about that uh, or any other issues, this is a good time to go ahead and bring those forward. So we are interested in hearing about that and uh, including that in the, in the planning effort if that's an issue that, that you want to see addressed. Thanks. Yes, sir. And that would include uh, the fracking Yes, sir. You know, this plan will, will also uh, deal with oil and gas development on that federal mineral estate uh, that, that I talked about. Again, just remember that uh, public lands and the public mineral estate uh, constitutes maybe a small portion of eastern Colorado, and so there's a lot of that activity that also occurs on private land, and private minerals will be have no jurisdiction. FM, 24 hours of Liberty Radio every day, now available on satellite too, at sat.lrn.fm. <laughs>
That's what a satellite sounds like. Put it on your unlicensed station. Wear it in your hair. But above all, don't despair. The Liberty message is getting out. And right now, you're missing it. Or maybe you're not. But skip on over to LRN.FM. Feds don't want you to hear them.